good morning guys uh, this video will be in continuation uh, with my the video the previous video which uh, talked about uh, this art of making dashboards and if you have watched that video uh, you know you would have got a uh, slight idea exactly you know how when we prepare the dashboards how basically you know what exactly we keep in our mind you know how we uh, auto populate the numbers if you haven't watched the video please watch this video and this video will be in uh, as I said that you know in continuation uh, to this uh, video number 71 so that uh, you can uh, you know get some more tips on how to make actually these uh, you know snapshots the front page uh, when you actually make the dashboard so today I'm going to talk about the date function and through date we will like to auto populate the you know the data which we have already stored somewhere right so uh, I have stored this data and this is more of a planning uh, this is more of a forecast and uh, today when I am recording this video it's uh, 3rd of June so I have written here some you know uh, forthcoming dates uh, third fourth fifth and so on and we have the target and we have the number of hours uh, again the target uh, you know and area of visit which area we are supposed to cover and then who would be the engineer right James Danny Allen or whosoever right so we want to get this information every day when I actually open this file automatically right so what you can do is uh, you can quickly come over here and you can just copy this data and uh, just come over here and say that you want actually the transpose right I have uploaded a lot of videos on the transpose function you can go to my excel uh, you know playlist and you can watch there that how powerful this trans uh, transpose function is so this is basically used to uh, you know change the pattern if it if your data is horizontally aligned then you can actually change it vertically or vice versa so I have got all the things here except for the date this is something which I really don't want so I'll just delete that and I'll put the date here and uh, in my this date let me just uh, get this formatting okay and now here what exactly you want to do is you want to put the date now whenever you open this workbook what should happen is you'll get the target for the you know current date right so that you can distribute this uh, to the uh, engineers and you know you can take the printout and you can tell them that this is your target and this is going to be your engineer right and you can even get the contact number here as well you know you can add this line as well so that these engineers who are actually working in the field they can actually contact their engineer and you can you know add this option here right so let me just write some number here let's assume that this is what exactly is their contact numbers that's a dummy data as I said so we really don't have to spend much time on this rather we will actually focus on the technique how we are exactly going to work so you have the contact number here as well now when you come to the office obviously this date has to be today date so what you can do is you can apply the formula here today and you can leave it as it is you know and let me just give some color to this date and you really don't have to put any uh, you know don't have to paste value this this formula would remain as it is here and this would be always an open formula you're not actually gonna do anything with this date formula this will remain as it is you know your this uh, uh, as today so whenever you open this workbook today as you know that uh, when I applied this function I'm recording this video today is your 3rd of June so tomorrow when you open this workbook this will automatically be changed to 4th of June so whenever you open this workbook right uh, on you know uh, whichever date it is that will be reflected automatically here and same date we can actually use here right so what we can do here is uh, we can say that we look up okay we look up this function this date in my database which is this and select give me this column all the columns one by one so target is on the second column so I'll write here second and let us freeze this freezing is very important again if you don't have any uh, data you know uh, beneath the previous one the this data then it's fine you can even define the full range but if you have some data here which is a table 2 then don't ever actually try to give a full range from A to you know like this T because then the numbers can be picked up from any table who, whichever value uh, you know would come first so always try to use the selection only for the table right so I'm gonna select this table and now uh, I'll simply go ahead and drag this uh, before dragging I'll just freeze this D, D1 because this is from where you actually getting the date and then now we are going to actually 
freeze this right and this time uh, hours is on the third column I know that and then area of visit I think is on the fourth column right and this is on the fifth column and this is on the sixth column right so that's the information which uh, is there for you now and uh, just format it and right so uh, you can even add you know a couple of more things like you can uh, maybe like to add uh, you know these shapes uh, like the one I'm telling you uh, this again is all depend upon the choice you know what exactly you want to do so maybe uh, you would like to like put it here somewhere like this and let's reduce its width keep it this this much and maybe you know kind of this right and similarly uh, you can copy this and you can paste it here and uh, you can you know put this something like this right so ensure that uh, they should be in proper sync and uh, then you can add you know couple of moves here as well you know that's again it's all up to actually your choice what exactly you want to do uh, I can even make this grid line little better and uh, maybe I can choose some color let's say I'll go to the line color and I'll choose uh, this color and uh, I can go ahead and I can you know kind of create this grid line like this and underneath this I can actually choose some another kind of a line style which would be like this so maybe I can do this something like this you know sort of I'm just telling you actually all the options so that you can try it you know later so that's how you can actually get this thing you know done right and uh, so you can give the some color if in case if you want uh, you can increase the width as well in case if you want to increase the width and you can even increase the row height in case if you think right let me just put them in the center okay so that's how actually you can do a lot of stuff and uh, similarly uh, you can again copy paste it and just rotate this like this okay and just reduce the size and maybe you can fix it you know over here like this and uh, you can reduce the width like this you know and you can you know do a lot of uh, settings here which I'm not gonna do right away uh, but you can definitely uh, make this you know little better with some uh, this kind of a st uh, stuff you know you can increase the width as well like this you know and you can create the same over here as well and copy this and I'm gonna put it here right and this is more of a like you know so you can do all all those settings in your this dashboard and maybe if you don't like the color that's fine uh, you can you know change the color as well in case if you're looking for some different kind of a color maybe you can do this kind of a stuff as well you can j go ahead and you know you can just give this kind of a stuff here so I mean I'm just actually sharing this option if you don't if you're not interested in putting up this no problem we will not here actually to, to talk about these customization customization is something which you can do but I'm more of a you know focused on uh, how to actually automate the work so now you can see here that all the work is automated whenever you open this workbook it will have this 3rd of June uh, next day tomorrow when you'll open this will be automatically changed to you know 4th of June and automatically the data should be picked from the 4th of June for example uh, if I want to show you right away then let me just quickly paste this value and change this to let's say 4th of June right tomorrow when you open this workbook so this 4th will come and you can see here the numbers will automatically be changed right so similarly uh, if you go to the 5th of June your numbers will again be changed and if you go to the 6th of June then your numbers will be again changed you know so this is how you really don't have to do uh, much of the work on this uh, sheet and you can automate this stuff and moreover you can even do one thing you know uh, maybe uh, you can well I would say that uh, you can even put the drop down here as well right drop down in the sense if you're not interested in putting this today date like this date you can even do one thing you can put all the you know go to that all DL or the data validation and put the list here and uh, give this you know in your this uh, database whatever you have the dates just select them yeah give them this all the range and just use this so now here you can connect this 
further you know uh, with the this kind of a data validation so whatever the selection will user have now you need to change this formatting because it appears as a number as you know dates are appeared as number and uh, so we have to first format this and uh, I'll format this maybe some sort of this right and I can give the same color effect to this right some sort of this thing and then instead of linking this uh, with the this cell over here as you can see F2 I have linked this third you can actually simply go ahead and you know link with this right and then you can drag this formula um, let, let me just copy this and paste this right so now I have every cell which should be used from here so I have to copy this I have to paste it here and I have to paste it here so that it should be H1 and paste it here right now you need to change the numbers so I can change the numbers 3 4 5 and 6 right now in this drop down whatever the you know value I will select whatever the data I'll select I, I can actually get those values so that's again you know guys depends upon your choice how exactly you want to do you can create the drop down or maybe you can you know leave it as like this formula today and you can reference the things right so this part is important that how you can actually connect this you know all the numbers here right so uh, that's it for now and uh, I'll come up with some more tips and we'll go very slowly so that you know you shouldn't feel actually that is very tough uh, if you have watched this video then it's fine you might be uh, you know uh, able to getting you this kind of a relationship with this video which I have just uploaded and uh, I'll upload the, this video with the same art of making dashboard and using date function and drop down and the part 2 right so watch both videos and this is how you can actually make the you know beautiful dashboards thank you so much that's my email ID let me know in case if something is troubling you in Excel or VBA I will definitely try to help you out and I'll upload the video do subscribe to my channel and don't forget to you know click on the like in case if you actually like the video thank you so much bye bye